Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is November 20th, 2017. We're in Okatee and Hearthstone Lakes. And you're looking at the brand new model by Village Park Homes, the Hadley, H-A-D-L-E-Y. It's one of 11 models that Village Park is building and offers here in Hearthstone Lakes. Relatively speaking, an economy community with base prices of their homes from 2229 up to 2879. They also have low lot premiums, anything from zero to twelve thousand uh, dollars. I'd say most of the lot premiums are in the ninety-five hundred to ten thousand dollar range. Uh, this one. The Hadley, without the second floor finished off, comes somewhere in the middle of that range in terms of size, 1,898 square feet. But so many of them do have optional second floor lofts and bedrooms. About half of the 11 homes are one-story homes. About half of them are two-story homes. They all have two-car two garages. Well, we'll walk through the Hadley and see what you think. It's located here at 60 Battle Harbor Lane. And the battle I think that the developer must be referring to is the Battle of Port Royal from November of 1861. <laughs> That's when the uh, North, uh, in the aftermath of Fort Sumter, came down and captured Port Royal, uh, Port Royal Sound, and then landed and made the Department of the Navy uh, headquarters on Hilton Head Island for the remainder of the Civil War. And that's from where they executed the Anaconda Plan, President, Nick, uh, President uh, Lincoln's Anaconda Plan, which strangled the southern ports. But let's return to real estate and let's look around the neighborhood here. This is a roughly 300 home community, which is just a few years old. Uh, many lots here to choose from, both uh, wooded lots, lagoon lots, and as I say, with low lot premiums of uh, nothing, up to about $12,000, the annual POA here is also low. It's only $600 a year. They have a beautiful community swimming pool and a fitness center. It's very quiet over here. Uh, I would say that an excellent place both to uh, have a family and also to retire. Well, again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty. And I'm the Gated Community Specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And while Hearthstone Lakes is not a gated community, it also doesn't have gated community annual fees either. Um, and as many of my buyers are looking for an economy home, relatively speaking, of course, and are looking for low annual fees. Well, Hearthstone Lakes just might be what you're looking for. Let's just uh, take a look at this home and, and see what you think. Uh, being the model, it has uh, an awful lot of added beauty to it, a lot of added features. We see that this is the Elevation B. Uh, this is a vinyl exterior with three different kinds of vinyl on it we have to the left here on and this is a finished garage by the way being set up as an office so uh, as a home it would have of course a big two-car garage there but you have a board and batten vinyl there where the uh, where it protrudes out with a little bit of a metal roof treatment a shingle vinyl above that it's very hard to tell that it's vinyl folks these new generation vinyls are very good and we have a, uh, a dormer up top that serves double duty for bringing in light into the foyer as well as being uh, offering some very good curb appeal and we have a real nice stone apron here on this elevation uh, vinyl clad windows we have interior mountains beautiful front door let's go in and take a, a look at some of these features in the hadley well it has a very warm entrance to it and by that I mean it, it uh, gives you a nice feeling when you come into this house. We have what's called the cottage trim package which is the squared off country style arts and crafts style 
interior finish. And this is what is sometimes called, it's obviously paneling, sometimes called judges paneling. It comes a little high up on the wall. Another treatment would be a lower treatment, sometimes just called wainscoting. And we have a recess ceiling here with the cove molding up in that recess. We also have recessed lights. We have transom windows, big windows, good light coming to this house. And your master bedroom is off here to the right. And your living room, kitchen, and breakfast area straight on through here. So we have a, a trio of big windows at the back of the living room here. We have cove molding all around. We have our new generation kitchen, which is open to your living room with the single level flat island. We'll take a closer look at that before we do. Let's just take a look back here again. I wanna show you this, this dormer window and how it illuminates the foyer And also, we have light coming through from the second floor because this one has the second floor option. We'll go up there when we finish the first floor. Our master bedroom off to the right. Let's go take a closer look at the living area here. And what we're looking at here on the floor, which looks like wood, it's actually a luxury vinyl. It comes in planks, it looks like wood. It's very versatile. Village Park puts a lot of this in their homes. It's very durable. And it looks like wood, but it's vinyl, especially practical for running through your wet areas like kitchens and bathrooms, places like that. Now in this model, they have the single level island with lots of extra cabinets around and a quartz top, which is top of the line in today's uh, kitchen countertops for many of the builders. We also have the granite over here and they've mixed the materials, which is uh, very, very interesting. Uh, just your white tiled backsplash and you have both white and gray cabinets, the two hot colors today. Once again, continuing the cottage uh, woodworking theme, cottage trim package theme. Over on this side on our island, we note you notice the gray color. Those are the two hot colors. Stainless steel appliances, of course, and you have your farm sink, which comes in both the ceramic style and the stainless steel style. Pendant lights are pretty standard these days over these islands, and you would choose the type of light that you like. Uh, ceiling fans are optional. They've got them hung in the model here, of course. And then here is our eat-in kitchen or breakfast area here to the back with a recessed ceiling. When you build, you'll choose the different options, your light fixtures and so forth. This particular model, well, really not much of a view. It's an open field back there. We'll walk out when we finish and take a look. But the lots are good size. They're about a fifth of an acre. This particular house also has a screen porch. Covered porch is integral. Screening is optional. And a circular floor plan. So you notice you come around to this side. You have under cabinet storage here. Let's just take a quick peek. And our garage is straight away there with the laundry. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Let's go take a look at the second and third bathrooms. We're passing the third on our way to the second. It's at the back here and with a pair of windows. Flat ceilings in these homes. Panel doors. And again, this is just a model, ladies and gentlemen. So when you build, you'll choose your colors, your floor coverings, the type of interior trim you like, all the different hardware, uh, both your bath hardware and your door hardware. Here's our second bathroom with a uh, cultured marble top that's brushed nickel and with the framed mirror that's so popular these days, the high window over your tub, and that is a fiberglass tub and shower, very popular for uh, economy homes, and actually even a lot of luxury homes too. You'll see people save money on the second and third bedrooms by going to the fiberglass. And here's then our third bedroom with the single window. These bedrooms are 
12 by 14, 12 by 13 by my pacing them off so they're a good size, I think, for most people's uh, use. Let's go see the master bedroom. Well, before we do, let's just go and take a quick look in the garage. Here's your laundry. These homes are generally sold without washer and dryer and generally without your refrigerator, by the way. Your wash bin is typically an option. Most people like to have one either in the laundry or in the garage. Your garage is a good size and this is where your drop stairway takes you up into the attic. We don't have basements here in the South Carolina low country, ladies and gentlemen. And like I say, this is going to become a sales office here in very short order. This house is not actually listed for sale. It is a model from which we can then place an order for another one that you would then build on the lot of your choice and to your specifications and individualize to your own choices. Good floor plan here. Another look at our dining room. Many of my buyers insist on a formal dining room. Others don't want to have a formal and informal dining area. And we would just look for a plan that meets your lifestyle and preferences. Now this would be the master bedroom. Plenty big enough, I think, for most people's king-size furniture. It has a real nice recessed ceiling, again, with good cove crown molding up in the top. And the, you notice with this uh, cottage trim package, everything is squared off and kind of has that clean look, doesn't have the milled look. Well, believe it or not, that's an option which costs more than the milled look, but a lot of people like it. I'm included in them. It's more traditional, I think. Although uh, the other package is oftentimes called the classic. You have the cottage trim and the classic. Well, here is our master bathroom, and it is a beauty. It's a, a big bathroom with, in this case, a tiled shower and a deep soaking fiberglass tub. And we have a linen closet here behind the door. Large window bringing in light over the tub and a double uh, vanity top with the undermount porcelain sinks. Big framed mirrors, which is the, uh, the new thing these days. At least it has been for several years anyway. And um, again, this vinyl wood comes right on in here and right through this wet area. No, no concerns about spills on the water here damaging your wood because it is vinyl wood. And this is a beautiful marble. It could be a quartz. I'm not 100% sure. It may be a quartz meant to look like marble, but the quartz is the man-made product. The, mar the marble and the granite, of course, are beautiful. They're millions of years old, but they can stain. They need to be sealed. People are turning more towards the quartz that has the resin in it. It's more water resistant, stain resistant, and it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is a very large walk-in closet for him and for her. Our uh, water closet is here with a window. And another look at the vanity top before we Head upstairs, great looking. Well, here, I tell you what, let's take a quick look at the shower too. They did such a nice job with this. This would typically be an option in, in many homes, especially more on the economy side. Again, we're talking in the $200,000 range here, uh, possibly into the low and mid threes. And you can go with your fiberglass shower, or you can go with a tiled shower. I believe they offer the shower without the tub, if that's what you would prefer. And again, you can individualize the home with the different options, colors, materials to fit your preferences and your budget. Now back out to the foyer, we have a privacy jog from the bedroom and here's your coat closet. When you come in from, the, from outside, we don't have heavy duty coats, ladies and gentlemen, in this semi-tropical climate but we do wear in the wintertime some light jackets and cotton sweaters. 
You can leave your snow blower behind. You can leave those wool sweaters behind and heavy jackets. The heavy jacket here might get worn oh, a few days every year and not many more. Fireplaces are optional. Many people like them just for beauty or for psychological reasons, really, I think, just to kind of make a house a home, but they really are optional in this climate. Beautiful windows. This is our optional second floor. And some people might call this a bonus room. Some people might call this a loft. And others could then close this in a little bit and make it actually into a second floor bedroom. And of course the light then comes across from this side too and fills up the foyer, giving it a little bit of architectural beauty. And over here is our second floor bathroom, which then makes a third bathroom, tiled floor. Again, the quartz top is your expensive option. You can go with cultured marble, save money. Even granite would be less than the quartz, but it really looks good. And the developer, the builder here is just kind of showing off, you know what I mean? And here's another fiberglass tub and shower with the brushed nickel uh, finishes on the plumbing fixtures. And they have then the walk-in, they have the second floor closet here, and then that takes you into your attic, and that gives you a walk-in attic access. Certainly a good thing for storage and for mechanical access. Well, let's go out back. We'll finish up. I'll give you my contact information and invite you to let me know about your real estate interests. And this uh, covered screen porch will be standard. The screening is typically an option. So quiet out here in Hearthstone Lakes. Your yard is always sodded and has a sprinkler system. This will be a big open field out here. And again, I, I'm not uh, advocating so much that you buy this particular Hadley on this particular lot, but we will get a price for it. And of course, with all the bells and whistles, it's gonna be at the very high end of your price range for this otherwise rather economical community. But here, here's how you can reach me. And I look forward to talking with you and getting acquainted, working with you as your buyer's agent in Hilton Head Island or in Bluffton, right here at Hearthstone Lakes. And again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my cell number, please call any time, 843-684-2933, 843-684-2933. And my email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com, rich at gogated.com. And my website is gogated.com. Now at gogated.com, you can search all properties for Hilton Head, Bluffton, and the area. But what I generally invite buyers to do is to call or email. Let's get acquainted. At my website, as an example, you can find the little button that says, please tell me about your real estate needs and describe the type of home and community you're looking for, something about your timetable, your budget, whatever you'd like to share with me, I'll follow up. And generally I offer my buyers a list of homes that can meet your needs in a format that will update automatically. It'll save you a lot of time. And it's really the best way to monitor your personal real estate market. So that when you come down and meet with me, you're already familiar with everything that's for sale. And we can go right out and look at the ones that you like the best. And so I just invite you to do that and look forward to meet with you uh, first on the internet or by phone and then in person, of course, whenever you're ready. Uh, the longest time it's ever taken a, uh, a buyer to uh, uh, connect with me uh, after, uh, to, to buy rather after we've connected has been uh, 20 years. So I would just encourage you not to uh, try to break that record, but uh, uh, most people, of course, buy a lot sooner than that. 
But thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And if you liked it, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. So please subscribe. And what a pleasure it is to come out here and show you this beautiful house. There's so much more we could talk about, but we'll do that when we follow up. Again, the Hadley by Village Park Homes. I hope I told you I'm showing this to you as a buyer's agent. And I do not work for Hearthstone Lakes. I don't work for Village Park Homes. I work for you, ladies and gentlemen. And that's with the right agreement, which is easy to do because I'm only paid at closing if you buy and when you close. Again, we can go into all those details when you call. Thanks very much. Have a great day.